Well, hi everyone, Andy here at Bloomer Boomer. A lot of people I talk to in my community are thinking about retiring or they have already quit. Now, uh, who wouldn't want to have a, a new second income stream, retired or not? That's a big part of what Bloomer Boomer is all about. Now, we are all lucky enough to be in an amazing time right now where we can have the income stream we want because today's economy is so freelance based. You know, there are some really amazing opportunities out there. And today on uh, Bloomer TV, we're going to meet a guy who has grabbed hold of that new trend and is providing a way for you to monetize your expertise and to thrive. Uh, his name is Imad Masavi, founder and CEO of Q uh, QGig, a new company that quickly connects us who want a gig now with people who need the job. Now, side hustles or gigs are performed perfect for everyone who has the know-how but does not want to waste time finding someone to, to pay us for it. Now, in a moment, uh, we're going to learn all about that with Imad Masavi, founder and CEO of QGig.com. Now, first, a plug for BloomerBoomer.com. It's about making the second act of life the best of all. Subscribe to Qualified for discounts, be the first to know, and a lot more. Check us out. We'll be right back with Imad Masavi. Well, our guest is Imad Masavi, founder and CEO of QGig.com. Imad, I want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Andy. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Wow, I tell you, I, I looked at your site and uh, I see a lot of really neat things and the whole idea is just so perfect because uh, that is really what we're about and uh, there are so many amazing opportunities out there. Now, do you think, uh, you know, let me ask you this, do you think those of us um, over 50 uh, have been slow maybe to realize how f the freelance world has really taken off? Now, 20 and 30 year olds, especially recent college grads, uh, they've really jumped into it. Absolutely, absolutely. It's, it's, you know, it's a quickly changing world and the way technology is changing the way people live, you know, it's also changing the, pe the way people work. It's definitely, you know, you can see a very sharp trend of people moving towards, you know, freelancing, contract work, short-term project. It really has, and it, uh, it it's uh, gonna just go no other direction, I, I, I vision than uh, bigger and better. <laughs> exactly, yes. You know, yeah. and let's face it, I mean, in reality, uh, you know, there is age discrimination in hiring. I mean, it is everywhere. Sometimes it does work in your favor and uh, other times it doesn't. But I think it's fair to assume, at least for the majority of jobs, an employer would prefer someone uh, younger. Uh, how does that uh, jive with what, what you believe and, and how your company is, uh, integrates? Very, very, very good question. So, you know, um, when I started thinking about Quigig, you know, I started thinking, okay, because I was thinking, okay, I need to hire someone to move, you know, stuff. We move into a new apartment and, yeah. you know, I would go to Craigslist. And I said, you know, this is not how it needs to be. There should be a much more, there are some values. There are some modern values that we have. One of them is, non-discriminatory you know through the this hiring process so what if we can have a platform that make it so much easier and basically only provide the information that are needed for decision making based on you know non non-discriminatory basis so the the person who's hiring needs to know the rating needs to know this the screening you know whether the person is a screen background check drug tested how many years of experience how many jobs they have done what is their rating whether they have a certification but they don't know to, to the, they don't need to know the gender they don't need to know the age you know those are not part of the standard decision making process for hiring right so uh that's so, yeah that's that's, that's a not, good point so basically it's it's blind to uh to age among other things absolutely blind to age blind to gender blind to some other irrelevant information that are not supposed to be part of the decision making process so we have built a system that is basically a manifestation of those values isn't that great now industries and uh, and demand services are just changing so fast now if you're you're out of the loop just for you know a few months it, it can all pass you by uh, what does a company do uh, in your case to help freelancers you know stay current and into the trends and, and keep their skills uh, sharp. Very, very good. You know, it's 
everything is changing so fast. So what we are trying to do, and we have already established the framework, we have already built the base system, and now we're improving it every day, is a system that not just helps people to quickly hire or find work, but it is also providing users with insights about what's going on. You know, if they want to know what is the trend, what is the risk, what is the risky choice of, you know, picking a service type that they're going to be offering versus what are the opportunities out there? What are the ways they can increase their income? What are the ways they can basically, uh, you know, inc increase the, the opportunities and reduce the risk, even have more training or professional, basically development opportunities? All of that, and, and then the investment and the quick, you know, the crypto in the, in the platform, everything combined is we're trying to offer an end-to-end -end solution in a market that is still not tapped as much with the technology. Yeah, yeah, that. So it's right there uh, on the site, that pe uh, and people can uh, take advantage of it. And uh, you know what I've found uh, because I've done freelance work as well, and I I talk to freelancers a lot. You know, and one of the biggest problems uh, I find is or is pricing your skills. It's it's only normal to feel uh, that what you have is is valuable, and you want to get what you think you're worth, but that can lead to charging too much and maybe other people undercutting your price and right. then you have no work at all. Right, right. You know, um, you know, we, we um, um, this, the, the, what we are building is definitely, it's, it's a free market. You can't stop people from our offering a lower price. And now we're thinking of globalization and, you know, you have to compete with people in India or Philippines. It's so much harder to compete. But then what we are adding as a, an interesting piece to, the, to this entire package is that crypto because because the demand is increasing in the freelancing world and in a, in a new platform like ours initially the demand is low but as the time goes by the demand is going to go higher and higher to use the platform now we have kind of incorporated the idea of a cryptocurrency into the platform which means people can buy the quicks the crypto on the platform and then as the time goes and the demand is increasing because we're having we're having a cap we have a fixed total number of quicks ever released by the platform that may that makes the value of quicks increase in time and people can sell it back to the platform so basically it's an investment opportunity people can buy quicks for like a cent today which could have value of you know not several cents even possibly like a dollar in five years so for the next five to ten years this is going to be an amazing opportunity for for freelancers to not just find work but also to somehow develop their retirement plan but then after five to ten years when the platform has hopefully many millions of you know users globally and and possibly hundreds of millions you know users globally then quick will be similar to some other cryptocurrency having you know its own fluctuations in value Okay, so Ahmad, if you could just uh, break that down in, a, in a, an example. Let's say someone is a photographer and right. uh, they're using uh, your platform to, to get uh, photo gigs. Sure. Uh, tell me how that, in, in, in the case of that photographer, uh, how that's going to work for that person. Right. So, so I mean, everything just starts with, with, with the, I mean, everything just starts with signing up with the platform. If you, need, you need to go to quigig.com and if you have any trouble, for the spelling, you can search for gigs done quick. That's your slogan, gigs done quick. If you search gigs done quick, you're gonna go to quickgig.com. So uh -huh. if you go to quickgig.com, you will be able to easily find a sign up option. And the sign up option helps you to select the, the, the geographic areas and the services that you are willing to offer. And Quigig connects people to people. So the same person who is a freelancer of some services could be hiring others for some other services. So it's not, it's not like, one sign up for providers, one sign up for customers. It's like sign up for every person who wants to be on the platform. Then they would have to buy quigs in bundles, like $5, $10 more. And then that's how they are basically paying the platform. We have made it uh, an interesting opportunity for people who are quick. So because we want to promote quickness, that's how feature needs to be. So it, if, the, if freelancers are responding fast, the first three response are going to be free. So they don't have to pay anything to the platform past that they would have to pay the platform like a dollar fifty cents but it's not in us dollars but it is in quick so they would have to buy quicks in bundles and then pay the platform but then quick itself is registered with us government as a security token so it is a 
token that is going to add value in time. So if somebody is using the platform often and they can basically use token and even buy quigs or even get quigs in the rewards when they're interacting with the platform, that quig saving is going to be basically has some liquidity and it, will be, it can be sold back to the platform at a higher rate as the quick demand goes high, but but the supply is going to be limited. So okay. it's it's a you know a photographer can use the platform to sign up and of course get quick job and they can get paid in US dollars. But if they want to also use it as an opportunity to to add some savings for for the future, then that's the where the quick basically saving comes into play and they can save some of the quick for future. So if, uh, for someone who's a little less sophisticated uh, in in uh, uh, bitcoins or in quigs, uh, they can use old fashioned. Absolutely, uh, yeah, yeah. We, we knew that you can you can get paid in cash, you can pay, get paid in credit card, just direct deposit to your bank account. Everything is you know handled. So we tried to do a complete solution. You can still use cash payments, you can still do US dollars, and you can do quig uh, as a more modern solution to the process. Okay, all right. So you're really into a lot of. Uh, a lot of things there, you know, and um, something I've been asking freelancers is, uh, you know, how much time they spend uh, looking for gigs. And fortunately, it's easy to spend half your time looking for a job and the right. other half trying to do it. Absolutely. Do you think you found a way to speed up that, uh, make it more efficient? It's not easy. I know it's easy. That's really part of it. We have done some extensive research looking at all these different platforms and solutions out there. And we have reviewed a lot of customer, you know, reviews and customer testimonials and feedback. And it, it, there are a bunch of pain points that customers are facing, especially freelancers are usually on the side that platforms care the least because, you know, everybody wants to have customers who pay the money and freelancers, of course, are just trying to get some work. And it's so frustrating at point that you have to spend so much money. So what about um, what about a system that you don't spend money, spend much money, and you don't have to be struggling so much to get some work? And it doesn't just pay you work. I mean, it doesn't give you work for one-time payments, but also it helps you establish a career. Even if you want to explore new service types, it helps you to start a new line of you know business and a new line of service. Uh, you know, um, in, in addition to what you are you are you're currently working on. So uh, as we as we wind uh, wind down here, man, let me just ask you: What's the best uh, way for someone, uh, you know, to get jobs? Uh, they they need to have the skills. Uh, can you give a hint as to how someone can, uh, you know, get in and start getting some jobs, and uh, uh, at least from that standpoint, sure. and uh, and not, you know, because if you don't, if you're a freelancer. You gotta avoid discouragement, and uh, so maybe there's a way that you can, or something you can just tell us, uh, as, as for someone who can, you know, get started and get going. Right, absolutely. So I mean, see, this is we started the project almost uh, six, seven months ago, and so we're still having, uh, you know, a growing uh, number of users quickly adding to the platform like every day, but it is still early in the project, so. I don't want you to, when you sign up with the project, to start getting a lot of work starting tomorrow. But definitely, we have uh, we have set the system in a way that, and we have an IP, we have an intellectual property with USB PTO. And the way we are trying to be like building a magnet that brings a lot of Google traffic into the website. So people who are searching to hire on Google will be automatically seeing our website on the first page of Google results, and then come to the website, and they will be able to hire and send the orders. So that system is already built and it's now basically establishing its relationship with Google search engine. So all they have to do, just go online and, and like I said, quigig.com, Q-U-I-G-I-G.com. It's basically the short version of quick gig. Even if you take, if, even if you do quickgig.com, it's going to redirect to quigig.com. So Q-U-I-G-I-G.com. It's going to basically be the home page. You could just, there is a simple link. It says sign up. The sign up is pretty simple. They will just put the basic information and they can start. Yeah, good. Well, we will have it on the, uh, uh, on the show so people can see that. And uh, Imad, I, thank you so much. Well, thank you. Thank you, Andy. Glad to, to be here and talk to your audience. Our guest is Imad Masavi, founder and CEO of Quigig.com. 
and uh, we'll be right back. Well, finally, I hope you liked the show. Uh, yeah, I hope you learned some things. The full show is going to be available on YouTube and at Bloomer Boomer. And we have other shows coming up with some really amazing guests. So like us on Facebook and visit us over at BloomerBoomer.com. Till next time, so long.